my first impression of playing in the subway system was great. It was a chance for me to show my music to a large number of people uh, using the system. It was a great feeling. Wonderful acoustical environment, uh, nice acoustics in here, and one of the most ideal places for street performers to want to play is in it should be in the subway. Um, for that reason, that it, there's good acoustics, and for the reason that in the winter time it's a good place to come and play. I could say this is different than, than being on a stage. Um, being on a stage sometimes not what we're looking for. Um, we uh, buskers, we perform our music uh, to people and people are not paying for our show and, are, and people will take the music however they want to. Sometimes they appreciate it, sometimes they'll walk right by and not notice us. But this is what we offer as buskers. It's, it's different. It's very different. And um, I really like it. Just there's, there's, there's more audience interaction occasionally and I, I play a style of music which is sort of improvised and actually doesn't work as well on stage than it does in a setting like this because in a setting like this I can riff off of just uh, you know people's feet patterns and, and things like that you know it's, it's a lot easier to, to, uh, to improvise in a, in a situation like this. Be a street, I would still be a buster. I don't know. What if I came back as a as a different creature, though? You know. But if I came back as a human, I'm pretty sure I'd want to be a, a buster. Fun never stops. Just keeps rolling. People. If I was offered a chance to be a subway musician again, I would do it all over again. It's a great feeling, and it's hard to compare with the. Other things ask me to show my music uh, a way quite different than being on stage or being on spotlights. 
I'm able to get up in the morning, come to work, play my music, put in some hours, and then take the bus back home. And then tomorrow I'll do the same thing 